Hi FlossTube, welcome to this video. My name is Anna and I'm here to talk about cross stitch. Today is Saturday, December 3rd and Ethan is down for a nap so I'm hoping I can get this in. If not, my husband's upstairs and he can get him and hopefully stall him before he has to eat so that I can uh, get this update filmed. Um, last week, last weekend was Thanksgiving weekend here and we drove back to Kansas, which was wonderful, and I'll talk more about that at the end, but uh, the point is I didn't get to do an update last weekend, so here I am three days into December. I cannot believe that it's December already. Um, Ethan just turned four months old at the end of November, so this week he has his four-month appointment um, next Tuesday, so hopefully all is well and he's gaining enough weight all of that stuff. Um, anyway, cross stitch. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I worked on. Um, I only worked on two projects, but one of them was a finish, so I'll show you that. And then I'll talk a little bit about my plans for December, and I'll show you a little bit of haul, and then I'll talk a little bit more about life with Ethan and our trip to Kansas at the end of the video. So cross stitch. Um, I only worked on two projects, partly because uh, of the holiday and just, you know, the chaos of the holidays starting. Um, so I'll show you my full coverage first, and I did not take it out of the queue snap. So <sighs> here is the cover photo, or cover image. This is from Artisy. Uh, it's my oldest project, my first full coverage. And I am making some progress on it. I did not get a full diagonal done, but um, I did get some progress on it. Pulling this off. Um, I really enjoy working on this. It's on 18 count Ada, and um, I think the next time I start a full coverage, I'll do a smaller count. Um, just, just because. <laughs> um, this is pretty big, but uh, this is where I got to. So there's strings everywhere, needle minders. Um, so I finished the last few stitches in this diagonal and I came up and started the next diagonal, which you can see I made pretty good progress on that, partially because all of this dark 939 was already filled in the way it is here. Um, but you can see the outline of the cat coming in a lot better and the tree. Wow, my light is just bouncing all over the place right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep working through here and get some more of this uh, jack-o'-lantern at the bottom done. Um, and this is the last diagonal of this length, and then they're going to start to get smaller as I go this way. Um, the other thing that I did is I finished all of the 939, this dark, almost black blue. So this is all finished all throughout, and I came back up to the top and I picked another color, which is this sort of lighter blue color here and that has been finished all the way down to about here so obviously this section gets wider as I go so we'll see how much of that color I have I was having a hard time picking the next color I wanted to do color completion with there is a, another dark color um, I think it's number 823 um, but it's it's everywhere so I picked a, just picked the next color up here and started working that in so that is where we're getting on Fright Night. Um, I also, in my mind, call it the Riddle House from Harry Potter. So. It's fun. That is where that one is at. The other project that I worked on in November was my Mill Hill Buttons and Beads kit, and I finished it. Um, so I filmed, I gifted it, so I filmed a little update before I had totally finished it. So I'll insert that here. Hi guys. I wanted to record a quick video while I had the chance. I've spent most of this month working on this buttons and beads kit from Mill Hill. It is the Christmas Village Winter Series. Um, and this is the country church. Sorry if the 
camera is shaking. I don't have a stand or anything. Um, anyway, this is the preview of what it's supposed to look like. And I am not quite finished with it yet, but I am almost there, so I wanted to capture it for you while I had a chance. Um, so this is where I'm at. This was so much fun to work on. I have finished all of the main scene. I just have to finish this side of the snow. Um, it's the one change that I'm making to this. Um, the kit calls for three strands of white in the snow, but I didn't like that you could see um, the white getting carried behind all the stitches. And I had a whole lot of the white beads left. You can see I still have a lot of them in here. Um, so I wanted to use those as the snowflakes instead. And so I purchased this translucent beading string for it. I don't know what brand it is. I went to my LNS, the stitching shop in Denver, and they helped me find this. So it's beading thread. It is a little springy compared with normal floss, but it's working just fine. Um, so, like I said, I'm doing these little mm, beads instead of cross stitches for the snow. And I'm also not really following the pattern. It is like a more regular diagonal and then a few up here. And I wanted more of a scattered effect. So I'm just kind of choosing places as I go without any real guide, uh, which I feel like is a little more snow-like. So there it is. It is almost finished and I am hoping I'll finish it today and then I can put it in the frame that I got and send it or I guess deliver it over Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I you can never see these for how pretty they really are in person. Um, there's a lot of beads in the church and I don't know how best to show how many there are. There are a lot in the church and in the tree. The big tree has some mistakes, but since it's just greenery, I don't think you can tell. So that is my buttons and beads kit. All right, so something I didn't mention is that I left off this button. It's a buttons and beads kit, and so it came with this star button. Um, I thought that it was just a little rustic. The rest of this picture is just so elegant and sparkly, and then this sort of flat colored star was just a little, yeah, oh, rustic is the word, I guess. Um, so I thought about doing some other charm, like another star charm there, but then I thought that without it, this is more of a, a winter scene, so something that could be left out after Christmas and just all through the winter. So that's what I did, and I loved it. It was wonderful working on the beads. Once I got set up and got started, the beading started to go quickly, which was enjoyable. It makes me excited to do more beadwork. Um, and I ended up buying two more of these kits, which I'll show you in a moment. So I gifted this. I gave it to my grandma over the Thanksgiving weekend, and yeah, hopefully she enjoys looking at it and maybe share it with her friends. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so my plans for December, I don't really have any. I did not work on my dragonfly, which was the one thing I wanted to work on in November, and I just, I just didn't. I got so into that Mill Hill kit that I just worked on that, and then when it was finished, I worked on um, my full coverage, just because it was easy to do when it was already pulled out. Um, so I might leave out the dragonfly and see if I get any progress on it in December. The only one that, the only whip that I want to work on as part of my rotation uh, is Blackbird Square by Peppermint Purple. Um, and I'll show you quickly where I'm at on that. 
So I'm just kind of picking colors as I go instead of doing it in just one color. And this one I'm planning on adding beads at some point. Um, so that's my starting point on it. Hopefully I can work on this a little bit just so it gets touched this year. Oops. And it's black work, it's just a different style of stitching. So I'm looking forward to getting back into this one. And other than that, I don't know what else I'm going to plan on working on in November. I feel like at this stage of my life, it's fruitless to make plans. So hopefully I get time to stitch, but I'm not setting too high of expectations for myself on that. So that's all of my stitching. Um, talking about haul, I mentioned in that little clip that I got some beading thread, some translucent beading thread from a stitching shop. And so while I was there, I also got some other things, because um, why not? So I got two more buttons and beads kits. Um, I got this one, which a lot of people are familiar with. Um, yeah. So looking forward to starting that at some point, although I'll probably just have one buttons and beads kits going at a time. Um, so I also got this one. Oh, so this one's called Honey Bee, and this one here is called Haunted Tower. So, one of the things I enjoyed about the Country Church kit is the, the building was a lot of fun to bead because it was just, once the stitching was done, it was just like straight rows of beads for the structure, so I thought that I would enjoy that on this building too. So, pretty spooky. So I got those two. I also got um, this pattern. This is from Lace Petites Croix. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's called Halloween Owl Pumpkins. So I picked that up. And I also got this pattern. Um, I don't have a lot of spring themed stitching, so I wanted to get something with bright springtime colors. This is blend in place, so it's, it's big and it's got beads and sparkle and all sorts of stuff, but um, I've been wanting to stitch it. It's been on my wish list, so I just grabbed it when I was at the shop. And that is it for the cross stitch. I also don't have much to say about life with Ethan. Things are kind of the same. He has started rolling over a bit from his tummy to his back. He did it for the first time when we were in Kansas and he got to show off for my mom and my grandma and my aunt. Um, so his grandma, great grandma and great aunt all got to see him roll over the first time. And he's done it one other time since then, but he's definitely on the verge of doing it. So he's starting to figure it out. Um, it's, it's exciting that he's progressing through these milestones. Otherwise, some fun things about him. We put some foot rattles on his feet. They're like socks with rattles on the toes. Um, and he really likes those. He'll, he just kind of flails about, but then he figures out that he's got them on and he'll start just like kicking them. It's very cute. Um, he also survived, we all survived, our first road trip. Normally it takes about six, six and a half hours for us to drive from our house to my parents' house in Kansas. This time we drove past my parents' house to my grandma's house and stayed with her, um, which was wonderful. It added maybe 30 minutes to the drive, and so... GPS time was about seven hours. Um, we ended up stopping three times for Ethan to get changed and eat. And after the last stop, he was over it. He did not want to be in the car seat anymore. So the last hour of our drive was pretty miserable for everybody. But we made it. Um, and we had a wonderful holiday with extended family. Um, you know, my whole life... It's been my aunts and cousins, but now my aunts and uncles and cousins, and now my generation of cousins um, 
we're all having kids. So having all of these second cousins there was just really special. And it was, it was neat to hang out with everybody and the kids ran around having a crazy time. And it just reminded me of when we were growing up and we were kids and we would run around and be crazy with our first cousins and second cousins. So it's pretty neat that we got to go and participate with that, especially after the last couple of years where everyone's been really cautious about getting together. It was nice. It felt like pre-pandemic times to get together. Um, so that was really enjoyable. And then the drive home um, was much better. Ethan was much more tolerant and he slept for a lot of it. We still stopped a couple times, but made it back before it got dark, which was wonderful. And then we've just kind of been back into the normal routine. So that's really it. I, like I said, I wanted to hop on here while he was sleeping. So I didn't really think about what I was going to say or have any funny stories or anything. So hopefully you guys appreciate this update. I'm glad I got to film one at all. So yeah, that's how life has been here. I'm going to go, I guess, put up Christmas lights because we haven't done that yet inside or outside. So I think that's what we're going to do today and hopefully we can get that done and Ethan will let us do that. So anyway, I hope to be back at the end of December with another update and then I'm also planning on doing a whip parade at the end of December, early January. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So anyway, thank you for joining me and happy stitching. Bye.